Hello, everyone, and welcome to Cloud9 Blessings. This is Amber, and I hope that you are all having a very beautiful and blessed week. Thank you so much for joining me here on the channel. If you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel as new content is being added weekly. Thank you all so much, and God bless. In this video, I am going to be sharing with you a very touching testimony emailed in by our dear brother in Christ, Aman, and he shares his testimony from Hinduism to Christianity. In his email, it says, I would like to share with you my testimony of Jesus Christ as my faith story. Before I start, I would like to give a little bit of information about my background. My name is Aman, and I was born and brought up in India in a traditional Hindu family. I moved to the UK in the year 2010. My encounter with Jesus Christ started in summer 2016 at my workplace in the city center, where I was working as a car parking attendant. One day, I found the Bible on the window of a small cabin where we used to sit down and serve customers. I thought to myself, maybe someone has forgot it here when they came to pay for parking. So I left the book in the cabin thinking someone may come back to inquire about it, but no one ever came back. Even though I did not know anything about the Bible before, for some reason, I had respect for the book in my heart. I remember after a few weeks, while I was doing a little bit of cleaning in the cabin, I saw the Bible on a shelf and thought to myself, I shouldn't leave it here, otherwise someone might throw it away. So I took the Bible home and thought in my mind that I will give it to someone who is a Christian. At home, I left the book on a table in my room. One weekend, I had a day off from work. While I was relaxing in my room, I got a little curious to know what the Bible was about. And this is when some unbelievable things started to happen to me. I remember I opened the Bible and read Genesis where it says how God created the world. I also looked at other verses as well. I then put the Bible back on the table and I went to sleep. About 2 a.m. in the morning, while I was pretty much in a deep sleep, I heard a loud voice that woke me up, and I heard someone calling my name, saying, Aman, Aman. The voice seemed quite deep and near. I opened my eyes and stayed in bed to make sure it wasn't my imagination, but I kept hearing it. So I quickly came out of my bed and switched on the light to see who it was. To my surprise, I couldn't see anyone in my room. Also, as soon as I came out of my bed, I stopped hearing the voice. I then went back to sleep. That time though, I didn't take it too seriously, thinking maybe it was an illusion and no one was calling my name. After a few days when I was sleeping at night, about 2 a.m., I suddenly felt a very heavy burden on my body. I couldn't move or get up, nothing. I tried to shout for help with all my strength but couldn't even say a word. Being in this condition while I was thinking, what should I do? I heard a very clear voice in my mind say, call on the name of Jesus Christ. And with all my strength, I shouted, Jesus, help me. Immediately that burden was lifted off my body. The next night, the same thing happened to me. I then remember thinking, what is wrong with me and why is this happening to me? I really need to speak to someone. I didn't want to tell this to my parents because I thought it would only make things more complicated. They may think that maybe someone has tried to brainwash me about Christianity. So I decided that I would look for someone at my workplace who was a Christian and might have knowledge about it. After a couple of days, one lady whose name is Jane came to the parking lot with her daughter. Her daughter is a regular customer there, and Jane used to come in with her quite a few times. The moment I saw Jane, I somehow felt she was the right person to talk to, and I believe God sent her there at the right time when I was searching for someone. The first question I asked her is, 
are you a Christian? And she said, yes, I am. And then we started our conversation and I told her everything that had happened to me in the past few days. After hearing me patiently, she said, my dear, it's God calling for you. Jesus is calling you and you must follow him. She said, if you hear that someone is calling your name again, say, Lord, I am listening. She also suggested to me that if I wanted to know more about Jesus to read John in the New Testament. I opened the Bible and started to read John and immediately felt a very warm presence around me. I do not know how to explain it. I felt like words have become alive and what I can call like a vision with my open eyes. It's like my conscience was awakened and someone is revising every single thing I have done from my childhood to that day. After a couple of weeks, Jane visited me again at my workplace and she gave me a mobile number for her pastor and said if I can to give him a call and so I did. I spoke to him over the phone and we decided to meet in town. When I met the pastor in town, I gave him my testimony, but at the same time, I expressed my concerns and doubts as well. I should say at that time, all of the negative thoughts had surrounded me, thoughts about my friends, family, religion, and why God had chosen me. After hearing my testimony, the pastor did not say very much, but he did take me to a bookstall nearby and bought me a brand new Bible. It was very kind of him as I found this version easy to read and to understand. He also gave me the address of a church nearby my home. Even after talking to this pastor, for some reason, I still did not find satisfaction. That same night, in my dream I was sleeping, suddenly a very bright light in human shape stood next to my bed. I woke up and that moment I saw the light, I said in a loud voice, Jesus, Jesus, even though he didn't say I am Jesus, but to my surprise, I knew him already. It's like my spirit knew him before. And the first thing he said was, follow me. I immediately came out of my bed and started to walk with him. As soon as I walked out of my house with him, I could see a very open area. It seemed like all the houses and everything had disappeared. Jesus stretched his right arm and said to me, Look. As I started to look, I saw a very long line of people as far as I could see. When I looked carefully, I noticed that they were all floating about two feet above the earth and they were all dressed in white clothes. One by one, all of them were coming into the light and were quickly disappearing. He then stretched his arm towards the left and said to me, look, and I saw the same thing happen. At last, I looked straight and saw another line of people doing the same. So I saw people, I should say souls of people coming into him from his light, left and right direction. After this, he looked at me and said in a very authoritative voice, are you still having doubts about me? At that moment, something happened in my spirit and I started to weep loud and said, Jesus, I am sorry. Please forgive me. Forgive me. And then in a moment, he disappeared. When I woke up in the morning, miraculously, I felt so light. It's like all my doubts and burdens have gone and I'm left with complete peace and joy. The Lord healed me spiritually, and all I wanted to do was just give my life to Him. It's like He assured me that everything will be fine. I felt that joy and peace with me. For over a week and the moment I went back to my workplace, I started to tell people about it. I have to say, the Lord has been really patient with me. Even though I kept doubting his presence, he has still had mercy on me. It reminds me of the scripture in Mark 2, 17. Jesus said to them, it is not the healthy who need the doctor, but the sick. I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners. Since then, God has blessed me in so many ways. I feel so blessed to see the Lord in my dream. 
My dear friends, the purpose of this testimony is that the Bible is truly God's word and it is the power to change our life. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He was and He is ever more present in this world and is ready to come into our hearts and save us from our sins if we sincerely call on His name. God bless you all. Iman. Thank you so much, Aman, for sending in this beautiful testimony to the channel and how amazing our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ is. Thank you all so much for watching this video today. I hope it truly blesses each and every one of you. God bless you all.